The recent acquisition of F-16 fighter jets by Ukraine from the United States is a significant development in the ongoing conflict with Russia. These F-16s are versatile and modern aircraft, capable of performing various missions, including air superiority and ground attack. How will these new fighters change the balance of power in the region? Will they give Ukraine an edge over Russia's air force, or will they provoke a stronger response from Moscow? In this video, we will explore the history, capabilities and potential impact of Ukraine's acquisition. The F-16 and the MiG-29 are iconic fighter jets with origins dating back to the Cold War. They were developed in response to the changing nature of aerial warfare during that period. The F-16, designed by General Dynamics in the United States, began its journey through the lightweight fighter program. It first took to the skies in 1974 and was officially adopted by the U.S. Air Force in 1978. The F-16 is a single-engined, multi-role fighter jet designed to excel in all weather conditions and fly at supersonic speeds. It's known for its distinctive delta wing design, bubble canopy, and fly-by-wire system which provide it with high maneuverability and agility. Its weapons can include air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground bombs, rockets, and guns. Furthermore, it can be equipped with advanced avionics like radar systems, electronic warfare capabilities, data links, and targeting pods. On the other side, the MiG-29 was developed by Mikoyan in the Soviet Union as a response to the F-15 and F-16. It made its first flight in 1977 and joined the Soviet Air Force in 1982. The MiG-29 is a twin-engine, air superiority fighter that can also perform ground attacks and reconnaissance missions. It's recognized by its swept wing design, prominent nose cone, and twin tail configuration. Thanks to its high thrust-to-weight ratio, the MiG-29 boasts impressive acceleration and climb capabilities. Notably, it features a thrust vectoring system that enables it to perform extreme maneuvers like the Cobra and the Kulbet. Its armament options include air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground rockets, bombs, and guns. The MiG-29 can also be equipped with modern avionics, such as radar, infrared search and track systems, helmet-mounted sights, and data links. The F-16 and the MiG-29 have their unique strengths and weaknesses in terms of performance, weaponry, avionics, and other aspects. For instance, the F-16 has a longer range, a higher service ceiling, better fuel economy, and lower maintenance costs compared to the MiG-29. In contrast, the MiG-29 boasts a higher top speed, a shorter takeoff distance, a superior thrust-to-weight ratio, and better maneuverability when compared to the F-16. These differences make them suitable for various combat roles and scenarios. The only aerial combat involving F-16s and MiG-29s occurred during the 1999 Kosovo War. This conflict saw NATO forces facing off against the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, comprising Serbia and Montenegro. NATO initiated an air campaign against FRY military targets in March 1999 in response to allegations of human rights violations against ethnic Albanians in Kosovo who were seeking independence from Serbia. On May 4, 1999, four powerful F-16 fighter jets from the U.S. Air Force flew over Kosovo. They spotted four MiG-29s which belonged to the Yugoslav Air Force, escorting two J-22 Oreo attack planes involved in bombing Albanian villages. The F-16 squadron decided to intercept the MiG-29s before they could return to their airbase. In this high-stakes situation, the F-16s had some advantages. They had advanced weapons like the AIM-120 AMRAAM and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. The ensuing dogfight lasted about 10 intense minutes and resulted in the destruction of two MiG-29s by AMRAAM missiles fired by skilled F-16 pilots Jeffrey Huang and Robert Wright. Another MiG-29 was taken down by a Sidewinder missile, launched by ace pilot Michael Getschy. The remaining MiG-29 was later destroyed by a NATO surface-to-air missile. The two J-22 Oreo attackers were also defeated by other NATO fighters. Surprisingly, the F-16s emerged from the battle unharmed, 
demonstrating their formidable capabilities. This dogfight became a significant victory for the F-16s in NATO, highlighting their superiority in terms of technology, weaponry and tactics. It also emphasized the importance of situational awareness, communication and coordination in aerial combat. Beyond the battlefield, it had psychological effects, boosting NATO's morale and dampening Yugoslav spirits. Poland has the unique position of operating both F-16s and MiG-29s in its air force. Polish pilots who have flown both aircraft offer insights into their differences. According to a serving Polish lieutenant with experience in both, the F-16 excels in several areas. It has a comfortable cockpit, a reliable engine, user-friendly avionics and versatile weapons. The F-16 is also praised for its maneuverability, stability, fuel efficiency and ability to cooperate with other NATO planes. In contrast, the MiG-29 is criticized for its outdated design, reliability issues and vulnerability in combat situations. In the world of aerial warfare, Polish pilots who've had the opportunity to command both the F-16 and the MiG-29 provide a nuanced perspective on these formidable fighter aircraft. One such Polish pilot takes a balanced view, recognizing the strengths and weaknesses of both planes. He points out that the F-16 excels in important aspects like range, service ceiling, radar capabilities, electronic warfare capabilities, data link integration and precision with targeting pods. However, he doesn't overlook the MiG-29's advantages in terms of speed, acceleration, climb rate, thrust to weight ratio and maneuverability. The MiG-29 can perform some extreme maneuvers, like the Cobra and Culbit, which the F-16 can't match. He also praises the MiG-29's superior infrared search and track system and helmet-mounted sight for certain situations. However, he wisely notes that the outcome of a dogfight depends on many factors, including pilot skill, tactical understanding, situational awareness, weather conditions, and weapon choice. Another Polish pilot, who's also flown both planes, agrees with his colleagues and highlights the unique characteristics and capabilities of each aircraft. He sees the F-16 as excelling in multi-role missions, capable of both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations. On the other hand, the MiG-29 leans more towards air superiority missions, asserting dominance in the skies. He notes that the F-16 has a superior radar and missile system compared to the MiG-29, while the MiG-29 stands out with its gun system. He also mentions that the F-16 is easier to fly and maintain, while the MiG-29 provides a more exhilarating flying experience. Personally, he prefers the F-16 for its versatility and reliability. Shifting our focus to the geopolitical arena, the F-16 becomes a crucial asset for Ukrainian forces. Yuri Itnat, a spokesperson for the Ukrainian Air Force, highlights the game-changing potential of the F-16. He points out that it could tip the balance of power in favor of Ukrainian forces, particularly in their struggle for air superiority over occupied territories. The introduction of the F-16 into the war poses a significant challenge to Russian warplanes that currently dominate the skies. This highlights Russia's presence with about eight to nine fighter jets over occupied territories, conducting airstrikes with guided bombs and aviation missiles, underscoring the urgent need for Ukraine's acquisition of F-16 fighter jets. The arrival of the F-16 is poised to bring a significant transformation to the ongoing conflict by ensuring air superiority, a critical factor for success on the ground. One of the primary areas where Ukrainian forces will gain a decisive advantage with the addition of the F-16s is in the prolonged battle for control of the skies. Currently, the Ukrainian Air Force operates under constraints, often sending only one or two jets per mission, frequently flying at low altitudes to avoid Russian ground-based air defenses and the risk of encounters with the Russian Air Force. The F-16, equipped with its advanced capabilities, is much better suited to contend with Russia's MiG aircraft than the aircraft Ukraine has been relying on. This advantage in controlling the airspace above the battlefield will significantly enhance Ukraine's ability to conduct air reconnaissance, a critical element in understanding the dynamics of the battlefield and making well-informed tactical decisions. The endorsement of the F-16 by the U.S. Air Force, USAF, 
specifically highlighting its superior combat radius, the distance it can cover for air combat, remain engaged and return, is particularly noteworthy. This assessment underscores the exceptional capabilities of the F-16, surpassing anything currently deployed by Russia in the air. The extended combat radius of the F-16 is a strategic asset, enabling sustained and effective air presence in combat scenarios, further strengthening Ukraine's advantage in controlling the airspace. The advantages of the F-16 go beyond just aerial combat. It equips Ukrainian forces with the means to counter Russia's MiG with superior capability, giving them a substantial edge in controlling airspace and conducting essential air reconnaissance missions. The greater combat range of the F-16, as rated by the US Air Force, outperforms Russia's offerings, enabling longer presence and effectiveness in air combat situations. Furthermore, the F-16's air-to-ground capabilities empower Ukraine to target and neutralize Russian ground-based air defense systems, further weakening Russian air control. One immediate advantage is the increased use of drones. Ukraine has already shown the effectiveness of drones in reconnaissance and artillery spotting roles. With greater control of the airspace, Ukraine can deploy more drones, improving its control over operations. Real-time information from these drones helps commanders make informed decisions, boosting the effectiveness of ground operations. The F-16's ability to engage long-range targets far beyond the front lines is another game-changer. With a range of over 500 miles and powerful Maverick missiles, the F-16 can strike targets up to 22 miles beyond its flight range. This disrupts supply lines and challenges Russia's commander's ability to reinforce areas threatened by Ukrainian ground troops. Disrupting Russian command and control centers becomes a central tactic, altering the conflict's dynamics. Moreover, the F-16 could transform Ukraine's approach to warfare, aligning it more closely with Western military practices and fostering greater cooperation with NATO in the future. This shift in strategy and alignment with Western standards could have significant geopolitical implications. However, it's crucial to recognize that the Russo-Ukrainian war remains a protracted and attritional conflict with an uncertain endpoint. The F-16 is not a magic solution for victory, but significantly enhances Ukraine's military capabilities, providing more flexibility both in the air and on the battlefield. In the complex landscape of conflict, this acquisition represents a pivotal chapter in Ukraine's ongoing struggle. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, click on the screen to watch other videos like this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.